Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we're going to be talking about the books that I ended up downloading for free in April. So I downloaded uh, only a few books last month. Um, I didn't really utilize my free booksy like I normally do. Um, if you don't know what free booksy is or how you can find free ebooks that promote authors, that's not illegal. We do not support piracy here. <laughs> I have a tutorial down below of how you can find free ebooks. So check that out if you would like. So yeah, these books I downloaded for free, all of them. I think one of them was a KU, Kindle Unlimited checkout. So yeah, we'll get into this and hopefully I'll like all these books whenever I decide to pick them up. The first book that I ended up downloading is Wicked Night, a dark mafia high school bully romance by Tracy Lorraine. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited, or you can purchase it for $3.99. The truth is meant to set you free, but not my truth. Mine has sent me deeper and darker, feeding my need for revenge. I want blood for those who wronged me and my family. And my so-called truth is ripping me apart in a way lies never could. Everyone else has moved on, but I can't, not until someone pays. And it seems that fate is on my side this time because the hellion girl from the graveyard is going to be my saving grace and provide me with everything I crave. The pain, the vengeance, the blood. She has no idea what she's been dragged into, but she's going to regret every step she's taken to get here. Stella isn't like any other girl I've encountered before. She's fierce, determined, and so much stronger than I anticipated. I might have met my match, and that is not a good thing. This is the first in a Mafia series, by the way. The trigger warnings in here is dub slash non-con, bullying, knife and blood play, mutilation, humiliation, somnophilia, sexual violence, exhibitionism slash voyeurism. You have been warned. Enjoy. That's what she wrote on her summary here. Next, I downloaded Saving His Mate by Ivy Knox, the first in a sci-fi alien romance series. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $3.99. Sold at an auction on an alien planet, Chloe assumed death was around the corner, but she found love instead. Dumped by her longtime boyfriend, Chloe decides to embrace spinsterhood by adopting one or five dogs. Those plans are squashed when she's kidnapped from Earth and shoved into a glass cage with two other terrified human women on an alien planet. How could it possibly get any worse? The three women are sold at auction to the highest bidder who happens to be a seven foot tall alien named Varric with shimmering gold skin and muscles for days. He recognizes Chloe as his fated mate, but he knows he can never have her because of a tragic past he continues to run from. Varric takes her back to his home planet of Olora and vows to help her get settled in the enchanting village of tree houses he shares with his clan. He'll keep her safe and ensure she's sheltered and fed. That's it. But the closer they get, the stronger their bond becomes and the harder it is for Chloe to imagine ever going back to Earth. Chloe has found the kind of love she's always wanted, but will Varric's dark past tear them apart? Next, I downloaded Claimed by the Orc Prince, an MM fantasy romance by Lionel Hart. I think this is the first book in the Orc Prince trilogy. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for $2.99. Prince Tegan Gliz... Oh my word, these names people come up with for fantasy books. Glenzeros. Tegan Glenzeros <laughs> has, prepared, has prepared since childhood to fight and lead armies against invading orc forces, the enemies of elves for hundreds of years. But after a successful peace treaty, the elven prince will not be fighting orcs, but marrying one. The first words he speaks to Zorvut, Zor, Zorvut, Zor, my word, Zorvut are their wedding vows. Despite being considered the runt amongst the orc warlord's children, Tegan finds him to be intelligent and thoughtful. Everything the stereotypes about orcs say he shouldn't be. He doesn't want to fall in love, but Zorvut's gentle soul makes it difficult to resist. Worse, their marriage bond forged by ancient elven magic between their minds proves to be far deeper and stronger a connection than anyone expected. Despite their trepidation, a genuine relationship blossoms between the political union. But such a long war is not easily forgotten and there are both elves and orcs who want to see them apart. When a dark secret comes to light, threatening to nullify the very peace treaty that brought them together, Tegan must decide if his feelings for Zorvit are worth fighting for. This is content warnings in here is discussions of parent parental death, infidelity, not between the two main characters, hunting and animal death. Next is a book that I read in April and don't recommend. It's Eden. <laughs> 
by Darcy Rose. This is a rejected mate romance. This is free to download still, but it's only 50 pages. It's the first book in a four book series, which all the books are 50 pages. And um, you have to pay for the rest of the series, even though Darcy Rose could have just put it as one book. Anyway, this is a rejected mates novel that I gave three stars to and um, we're gonna leave it at that. <laughs> Next is Gravity, A Billionaire Romance by Sarah Kate. I've heard great things about Sarah Kate. So when I saw one of her books was free, I was like, yes, please. I am snatching that up immediately. This book is currently available off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $4.99. Three months on a private island, two men, $1 million. All I have to do is tame Nate wild. It's been two years since my sister and her boyfriend were killed in a plane crash. The last person I expected to show up on my doorstep was his father, Alistair Wild. Yet he came with an offer. I'd be an idiot to pass up, be his son's girlfriend for three months, live with the two of them in a remote house, and the one million dollars is mine. The challenge turns out to be harder than I expected. Nash is not just wild, he's dangerous and Alistar is far more broken than he lets the world believe. The three of us are bound by grief. It's up to me to feed Nasher's hunger and heal Alistar's pain. Lines are crossed, rules are broken. On the island, there's no one to tell us this is wrong. I know I have to choose before I tear this family apart, but I belong to both of them. One of them has my body and the other one has my heart. So this looks like a love triangle, which is not my favorite thing, but I've heard great things about Sarah Kate, so maybe she can change my mind with this book. Next, I have The Barefoot Bride by Rebecca Paisley. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited, or you can purchase it for $4.99. The last thing handsome, aristocratic Saxon Blackwell needs is a bride, but a cruel ultimatum from his wicked witch of a grandmother leaves him with no choice but to seek one or lose his vast English estate forever. Saxon's flight from high society leads him right into the arms of Chickadee McBride. Pause. Whenever I first read this summary, the name Chickadee literally was the reason why I wanted to buy it right then and there. Well, I didn't buy it. It was free, but Chickadee, amazing, amazing name. <laughs> Saxon's flight from high society leads him right into the arms of Chickadee, Chickadee McBride, a barefoot, flame-haired mountain girl with a saucy tongue, a tender heart, and her very own wolf. Both shocked and secretly intrigued by the untamed beauty's scandalous behavior, the cynical Saxon quickly decides Chickadee would make the perfect bride to bring home to his grandmother. Chickadee's Scottish-Irish temperament and irresistible shenanigans give society ablaze with gossip, but it is Saxon who finds his body burning with a passion he can no longer deny. Too late, he realizes his wild bride is in danger of making him a prisoner of desire and capturing his heart. That just sounds like a recipe for a quirky, hilarious romance that I am so ready for. Next, I downloaded The Broken Vow of Silence, a paranormal romance by Jordan Taylor. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $5.31. Ariel had a happy life, loving parents who were the alpha and Luna of her pack, an annoying brother, and a hope that one day she would find a mate and be unconditionally loved. But one night her world went up in flames, not only taking her family, but also all the happiness she once had. As the fire died down and the house became nothing but ashes, she made a vow, a vow of silence. A vow that she held on despite being relentlessly beaten by the new alpha, Alpha Morgan. A once happy life was now a bloody, pain-filled life with the broken bones she had endured every day. Weeks turned into months and months turned into years and she endured the senseless abuse. But on that one fateful day, everything changed. Alpha Shane Chase was filled with secrets and a fair share of skeletons in his closet. He had been looking for his mate for over two years. But when he finally found Ariel, he was heartbroken at how beaten and terrified she was of the world. Most of all, how scared she was of him. To make matters worse, when violent, unexplainable things start happening in their lives, they are forced to make the ultimate sacrifice or die trying. Could Ariel learn to trust him with his skeleton when his skeletons come to light? Could Shane pick up her pieces and put her back together even after secrets are revealed and they are put to the ultimate test? 
or would life as they know it fall apart around them? Next, I have Rogue Aliens Escape by Kate Rudolph. This is still available to download for free. Life on Exlita is way better than alien slavery, barely, but Andy longs for escape. When dashingly intimidating Xander smashes his way into her life, everything changes. He's a prisoner escapee and a convicted murderer, but there's no way she can trust him, no matter how much he makes her body yearn. But Xander's checkered past is more complicated than it seems. He has secrets of his own and hidden depths, but Andy won't discover them unless they escape this planet alive. She puts her life in the hands of a dangerous alien but protecting her heart will be the hardest task of all. And then the one book that I decided to download off of Kindle Unlimited is Cairo by A.G. Wilde. This is the last book in the Captured by Alien series by A.G. Wilde. I'm so sorry for the dog. And so I'm not gonna read the summary for this one because this is the last book in a five book series. All the books build off of one another, so you have to read these books in order. Even though each book is centered around a different couple, the storyline, like the plot and the main store all, overarching storyline of all the books like doesn't make sense unless you start with book one so i recommend starting with book one but i downloaded book five because it's gonna be the last book of the series that i have not read yet and i'm excited to pick it up very soon but anyways there you have it those are all the books that i ended up downloading in april please let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to and if you don't feel like commenting any of those things leave me any shoe emoji because we were talking about the barefoot bride. So leave me any shoe emoji down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.